Well, we've already made a first step. Uh, and uh, the conclusions that came out of the European summit overnight um, were a very welcome statement that I, I think responded to the fears expressed in the House of Commons last week. A lot of MPs said, look, we think the EU just wants to trap us in this backstop. The EU said last night, we don't want the backstop ever used. None of us want it used. If it is used, we only want it uh, for as short a time as possible. And we're committed, all of us, to working at speed to get the trade deal with the UK done so that we never have to use the backstop where it's only there for a short time if it ever has to be made operational. I mean, the reality is that the Brexit issue was only added to the agenda of this summit at the last minute. They already had a whole host of issues leading off with the Italian budget crisis that's a big problem for the Eurozone. And they want to talk about those things. So the PM is going to continue her talks with other European leaders over the days to come. And I hope we can get those further assurances in that. Well, I think Mr Juncker's comments seem to be directed more at the Parliament than at the government. I mean, anybody who sat around the table with Theresa May, as I have, or frankly, anybody who's listened to her in the House of Commons, uh, and she's been on her feet for well over 20 hours in the last few weeks at the dispatch box, will know she's very, very clear. And she thinks, as do I, that this... Um, deal is uh, on the table is a decent compromise. Both we and the EU have had to give and take during the negotiations, but we've got a deal now that respects the results of the referendum two years ago, but does so in a way that protects jobs, investment and living standards here in Britain.